And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved in Rush Mode. Well, the uh, raining parts stopped. I restarted the game, and uh, the raining parts went away. So that is good. Uh, the other issue is, you know, I built I built this little thing up here. It seems to be going pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure what the transfer rate is for that turbine right on an MK4. But someone suggested to me in a comment that putting all these batteries on top of this turbine might cause a problem with the, the distribution of power. So on that front, I am going to see if we can uh, possibly improve that a bit. Uh, I'm going to put a Mark IV up there and to do that, I need 27 Mark III's, and I don't have the titanium for it yet. So let's see what we have to do. Um, I'm not sure what 64 times 27 is, uh, but it's probably more than I have. So let's gather some resources here. I've got plenty of nickel. Uh, a little low, a little low on gold but I should have enough uh, titanium is the biggest uh, biggest drain here just trying to keep everything sorted hopefully this will kind of calm down I have enough for maybe one or two more That'll bring me up to 20. I need 27 to do it. So let's see. Yeah, that's 64 titanium. I'm not bringing up too much titanium. Let's see. Uh, I might need some more tin plates. So let's get those started. I'm running a little low on inventory space but that's okay. I did notice also, somebody did point out that I don't have a filter for the perfect eyes, the, the blue eyes. But again, I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's, uh, it's fine. I'm not, uh, I'm not fretting over it. All right. I also went up here. If you go to our awesome missile assembly, these should be getting some power. I wish they could be getting more, but for some reason they're not, um, which kind of sucks. And it might be again caused by the fact that this isn't getting the power that it should because of those. So, it'd be nice if those would have been the, the Mark III's, then I could have used those to build the Mark IV, but they're not. I do have my OET not charging right now, so if we're, I'm able to push more power down here, and so that imbuer should be, it's not. For some reason, I mean, it's getting enough power, but for some reason, even though that thing is hooked up to a fully charged Mark IV, it's still not able to get enough power. I guess the battery, the transfer rate from the battery is not enough, uh, and I don't have enough for a Mark III laser which is unfortunate because that would have been nice to have. So there's another, another Mark III battery. I need 128 to get two more. I should have uh, waited to start recording, but I didn't want to have too much of a time jump between episodes. Uh, one of the other things I did, if you come up here, I put some more storage up here. 
as you can see, they're actually starting to fill up. We've got a good amount in each one of these. So that's good. Got lots of, I think they all are imbued. They're all imbued right now. Um, so they're not shooting at the heavies, which is fine. Uh, I'm not too concerned with that at the moment. Um, it's the bosses that we need to worry about, so I don't mind having a whole lot of imbues waiting up here. Plus, Spider Bro is doing a fine job taking care of business down there. So my uh, Falcors are doing great. Let me uh, turn off the fog here. Let us see see our base. Our OET over here just waiting to try to get charged again. I'm hoping in this round of, of recording of the recording session here that we get the OET finally charged. Uh, I'm really wanting to push to get that thing charged. So let me take these 86 and throw them over there. I am sort of dividing up where they go based on where they're used. And since we're not charging right now, uh, none of these are really operating. I mean, they, they do lose a little bit of fuel while they sit idle, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, I wish they would stop completely when they're not needed, but you can't have everything. As far as our biomass concerned, we have a have a quite a bit but I do need to go down and get more uh, before I start charging because that is vital so how am I doing lithium is doing fine I'm charging just fine spider bro is got lots and lots of power available to him I wish I could uh, add on his other blaster i could uh, do a quick hive hunt while i'm waiting for those to i'm waiting for those uh missiles to fill up i could go on a little hive hunt here i don't have any explosives i don't think i have any lithium plate on me there is tin titanium and I don't have any lithium plate on me so not prepared uh, lithium plate and copper wire and crystal is I believe what goes into chargeable explosive yep so I could use a little bit of copper wire so let's run over here oh I've got copper wire in there already so lithium plate is all that's left. There's a little bit of tin left in there. So we've got a little ways to go. I could uh, just plate some up here. Oh, might as well do a full hundred. That is, I think it's 32 plate. Yeah. So I'm going to need a few more over here. So that'll give me some lithium plate. And Falcors are doing good. Again, I've got perfect faceted eyes in there. And it's just just a matter of pulling them out i don't usually get that many of them so uh it was that raining the raining bug parts that really uh filled up everything don't usually get all that many i want to make sure my missiles are just going crazy over here imbued and everything let's get uh the titanium that's come back up Gold that's excess and the nickel. 
I seem to be pulling up a lot more nickel than I am anything else. So, I don't know, it should be an even hundred of each. So there's high energy composite fuel and I'm running out of biomass over here. I'm gonna put these over here. That's just one, I'm not gonna worry about that. I am gonna pull the ones I have in there and put in there just to keep that going can't stop that process it would be nice if the missiles would back up in time to start charging again but as you can see we're still still loading them up Okay, I gotta stop pulling gold out of there because I'll run out of gold wire. Okay, so I have enough for four. Oh, I need one more for the Mark III battery. Let's let's see where. Where would I use a Mark III battery that I don't need a Mark III battery? I've got one right there. Oh no, that's just a regular power storage. Oh, it doesn't, yeah, that's a Mark III. So there's one here that I can use. So let's finish this off. Oh, that was a Oh, that was a Mark II. Why doesn't it tell you that when you mouse over it? That should tell you what it is. Okay, one more here. I should... Which one should I do? Should I do this one or the other one? I kind of want to do the other one. I mean, that's powering a whole bunch of stuff, so I don't want to move that. Let's do over here and see if it changes the behavior of this down here. That's what I'm really going for. Let's take all these, it's gonna be a little loud for a second. grab it otherwise it's gonna okay does just removing that help this at all I mean it's not doing anything for that battery whatsoever okay let's uh, do the mark four And let's see what, what the power does to this. This, I mean, this should just completely drain into here. It does drain, but I'm not seeing very much power going here. Now this thing is revving up. 
you can see there's a surplus because it just cannot move enough power. You can see as it's going up, 1,200 power per second. It's actually the internal power. It just cannot push enough power into that thing. So... I need my lasers. Let's middle mouse click that. I'm gonna put them on this side as well. And that was the end of it. Who is it shooting? Oh, they're shooting way over there, which is fine. Like there's some goodies over here. Ooh, lots of goodies. I should put a Falcor beacon or two over here. Thought I had some, but apparently not. Sneak behind here. And let's uh, drop any organics that I can. Six, I want a four. Okay, so you've got exactly perfect. Okay, how much power do you have? See, again, this thing is not able to dump all of its power into that battery. For whatever reason, it's not able to do it. I have no idea why. I'm going to take this empty fuel canister. There's not one over there. I'm going to put it here. Grab those. I'm going to put this huge bulk of, of canisters over here. That way the next big shipment can go over to the missiles. So I've got another 39. Where else would I have empty canisters at? This one's getting fed automatically, which is good. And then let's see. Five more for the missiles. And we're slowly building up our missiles let's go do, let's go check them again just before the episode gets over Whee. oh that's a little high oh. so we are half full well sort of half full oh yeah more than half full on our missiles on the top here And this battery, again, is just... Turbine is just not able. For some reason, in this game mode, normally you do that and the turbine would spin up and it would be able to dump all of its power. But in just, you know, in plentiful mode, a turbine can only generate, you know, 450 power. So it can move that easily. But in this mode, it hits... Roughly 1,200, 1,100 and some, and it just can't deliver that much power. For some reason, it can't do it. And I have no idea why that is. Okay. So I'm gonna deliver some biomass here. Keep Keep this going as fast as possible. Looks like we have some missile launches, which is interesting. What's our threat at? Threat is at 70. Yeah, we're gonna we're getting we're getting some heavies. So and probably bosses at 7,200. But I'm not too worried about it. We're 
producing pretty fast. There's another 27 missiles. Fill them up. I mean, these don't get a whole lot of love on this side. These four on this end. But... Yeah, definitely, these turntables definitely are a little bugged. Okay. The more missiles, the better. Send them on up. But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.